Good morning. Uh, sorry, just make sure my camera doesn't fall. Um, I just got in a box and this is already claimed. Um, there's rumor that it might come back, but one of these is still available. So start with first things first. Harry Potter House Collection of Wax is still available last I knew. That being said, this is also available to add to club. We're going to go over this first. Um, to starting tomorrow. Sorry, you can add it to club starting tomorrow for the next 30 days. If you don't know what club is, it's always getting your bar, even if you're the only person that ever wants it again. So, we'll open this up. I took this off. Hey, Haley. Um, I'll admit, I heard, I saw what they were, uh, each of them were labeled as, and I think I'm only going to like one out of the four, and that's fine. So, it comes with... This little cute, um, and if you all know, um, your Hogwarts house, drop it in the comments, because I found out a few years ago that I am a Hufflepuff, and we take, we give and give and give and give, but when we finally are done, we're done. So it tells you all the different notes of fragrances on all four houses. I can tell you my wonderful daughter is a Slytherin, so we like to butt heads every now and then, and it makes so much sense. So, I found this wax collection to be very more in the Spice Woods area. Um, I am more of a fruity citrus girl, so that was not something I um, really cared for, but this one's called, this is Ravenclaw, and it's called Wit and Wisdom, and... That one to me smells more like soap and clean. It says the Ravenclaw. Smooth vanilla, airy white musk, um, incense, spiked sandalwood, and mahogany woods. So yeah, I definitely can get a lot of that. Um, I get a little more of the airy white musk than I do um, the mahogany woods. So that's interesting. Um, Slytherin, which is my lovely daughter, says cunning and ambition. And this one, I'm trying to think. Alex said it smelled like a certain soap, but I can't remember what he said it called. It was. It's a deep blackberry, dark chocolate, fresh oak moss, and crisp leather. Um, I don't like any of those except dark chocolate. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but I haven't warmed these yet. These are mine. Um, and if you need to smell what they smell like, you know, hit me up. I'm home all the time. I can drop a sample off to you. Um, Gryffindor. Bravery and determination. Less lemon, cinnamon leaf, amber, and smoky woods. Oh, see, I didn't even read the description before I opened them. That is definitely, definitely more of a cologne to me than any other of, the, of them so far. Wow. That was really, was there any for that? And then Hufflepuff. Just and loyal. Um, warm cinnamon sugar, golden apple, white hazelnut, and whipped vanilla almond. So that makes sense of why I like this one. I, when I smell this, I think of a, a caramel apple with like a beer butter um, smell. Like I, I just pick up on those. So I definitely, the cinnamon for sure comes through. And the almond, that's the, that almond is what really comes through with the uh, Hufflepuff. So that's in the little container that they come in. Now, the fun part, the warmer. Um, let me put these all away. Like I said, there's rumor it's coming back. I haven't been. It's just a rumor at this moment. But, come on. The details on these are phenomenal. Um... And you can, like I said, you can add wax to your club tomorrow. So this is the warmer. And I always check over all the warmers to make sure that we're, they work. We're good. I want to show you all the details that go into this. So for those that know Harry Potter... You got the envelope on the inside for the acceptance. And this is a decent size warmer, y'all. Like, it is a good size. It is taller than most of the warmers I have in my house. 
but the detail on it is on point. Okay, put that there. So, oh, sorry, cord. So we got the school, the castle, the emblem, the little uh, steps going down to the house, the owl, he Hegwurtz. I, I never say it right. Um, but if you see, you can see through my window, there's a little bunch of little holes for the stars um, and for the house. So it everything's really lit up. Um, so give me a second. I'll give you, I might not be able to see it as well because I'm in a very well lit area right now. So it takes to one of our standard light bulbs. Um, so yet again, we melt, we don't burn. Almost there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it without the dish on top first, just so you guys can see the inside, etc. Woo, that was bright. So all of the house is lit up. And as you can see, it makes shadows against me, so it'll do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it'll do the same thing. Oh, there's even a light down there. How cute. I didn't even notice that before. And then... The dish on top. There we go. There, adjust it. There we go. So, this is what this looks like. The waxy collection is still available that I saw. Don't quote me, but if you have trouble finding it, let me know. Um, and you can still add it to clubs. So if it's not, oh, here's the best part. If it's not available, um, starting tomorrow when you can add it to club, you can still get them whether you've ordered it or not. So that's a nice benefit is that you can still get them if you want to try them. And then you can either keep them in club or remove them from club. That's a hundred percent up to you what you do with club. It's not something that um, you have to keep. It's a benefit that they make. Uh, always get my bar. Always forever and ever and ever. Um, so yeah, that is um, Harry Potter's warmer of uh, warmer and scent collection. And then the other thing I wanted to touch on was our warmer and scent of the month for next month. So, Ruby Nectarine, and let me tell you, I am here for this. This is fruity and citrus, all in amazingness, um, and I can get you all a sample if you need it, but um, if you like a little bit of grapefruit, I actually haven't read the description on this, but I just, and I feel like the name says a lot of it, the description right there. Um, let me see if I can grab the description. It's definitely a hint of grapefruit. Um, that orange comes through at the end. And then scent of the month. Or warmer of the month right there. Let me see. I haven't even opened it. Still in the plastic. Oh, very sanitary. I'm sorry. Just trying to get the information. Okay. So you'll get a flyer with this. I usually will put a sticker right here. Or if you get my Happy Mail, it comes in stickers and it's going to smell like that as well. Um, and it says, top notes are ruby apple, sweet agave, and honey nectar. Mid notes are bright juzu, juicy nectarine, and pear blossom. Okay, now I can smell the pear. pear. Base notes, purple, aster, fruity woods. Soft jasmine husk. So I don't smell any of those. So I'm curious what it warms like. Um, it is in the fruity category. Um, and then our warmer of the month. This picture does not do it justice from everything I've seen. So let me show you what that looks like. Got it in the box already. <clears throat> I 
Um, if you like succul succulents, this is like your type of warmer. So, it's called an element warmer. Um, standard dish, it has a four, which means four cubes of wax is the recommended. Um, and then the other warmer, so there's no light bulb on this one. It's super small, but it's heavy, so it's not flimsy or anything like that. And I don't need to plug it in because there is no light on it. So, it looks like this. It is supposed to have this crackled look because it, it's supposed to look more like a real plant. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Like, that is normal. That is how it's supposed to be. That's how it's made. So, this is really simple. You literally put the dish right in here. Plug it on, uh, plug it in, turn it on, and this will turn red. Um, and it just sits there. It's heavy. Don't get me wrong, but it looks just like something simple, easy, succulent flower, um, and done. So I really, really like this. I think it's going to be really popular for Mother's Day. Um, and it comes out April 1st um, at 3 a.m. Eastern time. So if you want this and I need to get up at 3 a.m., sign me up. I'm all over. I, I'm your girl. Um, other than that, that's what I have for unboxing, I think, I think. Um, I hope everyone has a great Wednesday, and I will talk with you all soon.